Hello and welcome to Matrix Snippets. In this session we're going to learn how to set up a team. And by team we mean it's the same function that used to be in Fusion called identity sharing. So if you want to allow someone to access your account or your team account or if you want your office agents to be able to or work as your office agents you need each one of the agents to go in and allow you to access their account. It depends on how your office is structured. So you can do it either way just like you did in identity sharing. In either case it's up to the individual who owns the account to allow people in to share into their account. So to start off with we're going to go up to my matrix, go down to settings and then click on team settings. In here you presented to create a team so you're going to click on the link and you're going to enter in the agent's ID who you want to allow access to your team and click find. It's going to locate that person by email address and their office. So in this case you have two options or in either case you have two options. You have this member impersonate me or have this member work on my behalf. Impersonate me means anything that goes out of the system under the team when that person is logged in will go out as the team. If you have the member work on behalf of when they send out printouts or emails it's going to go out on behalf of the team with this person's name in there. So you want to make that distinction of how you want it to go out. Once you've selected the person and it's the correct person you're going to click add. Now this person is in here and is ready to use it. They'll need to log into their account and when they log into their account they'll go up to where their name is at the top right and there'll be a drop down list for them to select the team and work as the team and it goes very smoothly so they can go back and forth very easily. Now for you to manage it you can come in here at any time if you want to disable the team feature you can go ahead and click that link and the team is now disabled. You want to re-enable it and again this is for whatever reason maybe you're going away and you don't want anybody else to be in there as a team it's your call uh, you have total control over it so we're going to click re-enable this team feature and down here you can set a formal team name now in the case of our setup in most cases you're logged in as the team so I'm, I'm not sure whether this is a necessary function for you but you can play with it and see how it works out so we're all set with this person. If we want to get rid of this person, select them and delete them. Otherwise, if you want to add another one, go ahead and click the Add button and keep going until all your members are added to it. I'm not going to add any more because I don't know anybody else. I'm just kidding. Um, so that's pretty much it. If you want to find out more about how to set up a team and what the actual rights of the user going in as impersonate or work on behalf of, you can go up to the Help button and click on Help and then go over to matrix training guides and click on team function and it gives you all the information here and again if you have any other further questions regarding this by all means give MLS Tech Support a call 401-785-9898 and select option 3 and remember this can work for office admins but you have to have each one of the agents in the office go into their account and add the office admin into it so they can access their account if that's how you're going to work. Other than that, have a great day and enjoy yourself.